pues vía formada. Ya verás ahora, ahora llegaremos a una curva para la historia de un rato, ¿no? We're here in the Spanish wine region. We're going to have a day of tasting. We're going to taste several wineries. Our first stop is Jean Leon. Use the production of your winery. You cannot buy external product. Also, the wine born in each vineyard. For example, the Chardonnay, we have only Chardonnay on that vineyard. And we use that Chardonnay to produce only one kind of wine. The John Leon Winery was designed and built in 1964. In 1969, the first Cabernet Sauvignon to be produced in Spain was born here. The best part of any wine tour is tasting. And that's it. Then it's an unfinished product. And we are going to taste also the final result. The wine that has been 18 months inside the barrel and a minimum of two years in the bottle. The olives in Spain are so delicious. They remind me of the ones I've had in Italy. I've tried and tried and tried at home, haven't been able to find them. These olives are fresh from the region and they are delicious. Well, here I am, drinking my way around Spain, one glass at a time, at a lovely, beautiful winery here outside of Barcelona. And this is our first stop, and I'm still standing and not slurring, so I'm getting better at this. See you at the next stop. The next stop was a family-owned Torres winery. This is another one of those situations where you have to be here with feet on the ground to take in the beauty, the aroma, and the magnitude of this experience. I can try to give it to you and share it with you on video, but unless you are here and experiencing it personally, you'll never get the full essence of a moment like this. You've got to get out there and travel and see these things. And this is why Rob is going to continue to do it and travel as I see it. That's the only way I know how to do it. Having time to experience the destination up close and personal is very rewarding. Our tour of the Torres Winery included a tram ride. the most amazing tour of the Torres Winery. We started off with some delicious tasting, then we loaded onto a solar-powered tram to take a tour around the property, which is huge. I'm glad we didn't have to walk it. What was even more amazing was the tram went underground to the underground cellars, so we could see where the barrels were, where the steel vats were, and there was even a movie under there that we watched where they talked about how the wine was made and how the family began it. I've been to California and lots of wineries, never seen anything like this in my life. This is fabulous. Well, 
Before we boarded the tram, they asked us if we were claustrophobic, and I wondered why. Soon found out we were underground in the cellars. It was dark, it was cool, it was fabulous. The video presentation in the underground cave gave a history of the winery and the region. Here in Pax del Penedès, you, you are visiting uh, Jean Leon, that is telling that it's a winery that belongs to Torres too, nowadays. Not in the past, but yes, nowadays. And here is where we are doing the, the best or the maximum production here in Catalonia, or in Spain. Hmm? We have wineries in other places, not only in Catalonia. We have wineries in Rioja, Ribera de Deca. Okay, all my friends, when are you guys going to stop by? You know I'm not coming home empty-handed. I never do. You think I'm going to be just keep teasing you guys out here, talking about I'm drinking my way around the world without bringing good stuff home? Just give me a call. Come on by. I'm bringing several of these back with me. Our last stop was at Freshenet Wineries, and what a way to finish up a wonderful day, especially the underground cave. It was quite a surprise, and yet a wonderful experience. The Freshenet tour also included a tram ride. Here we go. 120 million of bottles and the Freshenet production annually is, 12, is 80 million of bottles. Here we can see some robots. En esta parte podemos ver las, estos tanques donde... Eh, this was the most modern winery I've ever visited. I was quite impressed with the robotics and all of the conveyor system. It was a one-man operation as far as I could see. And then it was time to taste the coffee. The only thing better than tasting is tasting with friends.